Hey guys, this is Ambi from underdogchance.com and welcome back to my baseball betting model predictions, projections and analysis for today. Yesterday I went uh, 4-1 plus 2.20 units of profit uh, and right now I'm sitting at 136 wins, 101 losses and plus 33.1 units of profit, uh, which is... Uh, Amazing uh, so far, uh, ROI or yield plus 10% after two months and uh, 230, more than 230 bets so far, okay? Today I have three qualified bets again and I will share them with you. We will also go through all projections, but I want to start with one lesson that I learned in my life and I think it can help especially young bettors and also older bettors who want uh, to win quickly, okay? So when I was just a young better, uh, I had all the time in the world, but I always wanted things instantly. Success was hard to come by, okay? So when I was younger, and not only sports betting, I always wanted uh, things quickly, okay? So when I was 18 years old, uh, I didn't I, I didn't think in years. I, I wanted... Uh, to have bankroll in two years uh, big, you know, I, I wanted to make five, six, six figures uh, in two years. And of course, I was in a loop, okay? So I bet too much, I didn't invest, I was not experienced, I didn't invest in myself. And then of course, I, I started losing. After a couple of wins, I lost bankroll. After a couple of wins, I lost bankroll. Because despite I quickly realized that it is all about the numbers, uh, my mind was still not there okay i wanted wins quickly okay so i didn't uh think in the long run okay so now with less time on my hands because i'm 43 uh so i have less time on this world right uh, patience has increased and so has my success uh strange isn't it right because not only in sports betting but everything i do i do it um uh, <laughs> with the focus for the long run. So uh, sports betting is not my only thing that I do. I also write a book about parenting and uh, so on. And everything I do, I do for the long run, okay? So I, I, I'm, I, I'm not here necessarily for quick wins. Uh, I do this for the long run, despite I know that I have less time in this world, but, also, uh, but I also have more success uh, at this time, okay? So... Uh, so it's a lesson for all of us. Remember, count your betting life in years, not in days, okay? Uh, the sooner you get this, the smoother your journey will be, okay? So my advice, especially to young bettors, is that if you start betting now, think in years, not in days. Don't focus on what will be tomorrow. Don't focus what will be next month. Start building fundamentals, knowledge, so you can have a skill for next 5, 10, 20 years, okay? And success will come earlier so if you will think in short period of time. So if you want to, to win this season, if you want to win this month, if you want to win tomorrow, uh, you will make mistakes, okay? Don't focus on this. Focus on the long run. Think in years, okay? Start building fundamentals. Invest a little bit more time, money, and energy in your betting knowledge right now to become better so you can uh, have a success. Because life is not going anywhere. Uh, sports is not going anywhere. And it was also a hard lesson for me because, uh, okay, I'm doing this now. I bet for 20 years, but um, I don't have a job. So I, I do this for nine, ten, eight years, I don't know, uh, since I worked less uh, time, uh, even before that, I think. Uh, so, but for, for years, I, I don't have a regular job. This is my only job. I also run my own business, right? But if I would be smarter when I was younger, the success would come earlier. So I maybe I could be um, break free from, uh, from the job when I was 25, 26, 24, okay? Uh, but the only problem was that I was not patient. Okay, if I would start looking uh, uh, in, in years, not in days, uh, the success would come earlier. Okay, and one other thing uh, what I want to talk about is the problem with following picks. Okay, uh, when I am winning, of course, people are always happy. And of course, I'm also happy because wins, wins are always great. But to follow my picks, I bet for 20 years, okay? Of course, earlier early years were not that successful, but <clears throat> later I started 
building my wealth with sports betting, started building my own business. And if you want to follow my every pick, you should follow every single bet. And this is not possible because usually people found me here. Okay. So I, I took, for example, this is, I think, Dow Jones uh, stock market for because it is huge sample size. It is 100 years. Okay. And as you see, it is a profitable. A lot of people became wealthy because of this. But uh, because they, they were thinking in years, not in days. And if you found me here, of course, this is great. But then I start losing, right? And you could say I'm the worst handicapper or better. I'm not, I, I don't like to call myself handicapper. But if you found me here, but who will start following here? if I would start losing. So if my record on YouTube channel would be, I don't know, minus 20 units, nobody would follow me, okay? And people usually start following here, 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 here. And then when the things go wrong, then they jump to other handicapper and they, they follow another person who is at the peak. And this is, uh, it is not your fault. This is how our mind works, okay? Because we want to see successful people. We want to see success and we want to jump on success. And the problem is that we are not focusing on the concepts uh, of how to become successful, no matter if this is business, betting, whatever. But we try to jump those waves, okay, those peaks. And people start following here, 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 and they're exiting here, 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 okay? Because the problem of picking an expert is that you must become an expert at picking experts. And this is also a problem, okay? And as I said, uh, this relates to the previous slide that I'll show you that I should pick in years, not in days. Uh, the problem is with the patient. The problem is with the odds. Because you cannot follow every single bet because the lines are moving and your chart will be completely different. And of course, following is hard because you cannot follow me on my every single bet because to do this, you should follow me from the first day, okay? From the first day until now. And this is not possible because some people found me last week. Some people found me here, some people found me here, some people found me here. And despite in the long run, I will build wealth, I will make profit. A lot of people will jump here and they will exit here. Okay. So instead of following pigs, if you want to uh, make the most out of sports betting, you should follow uh, the long run, the long path and should focus on the concepts. Okay. Uh, and this is my chart from this season. Okay, so at the start of the season, uh, it was a negative. And then, of course, uh, things started getting better, better, better. But even here, some people might jump here. Then I had a losing streak and back on. Uh, and even if right now we go a little bit down, and even if I finish with, I don't know, 25 units, 20 units, um, this is still uh, four times better uh, than annual return in <clears throat> stock market. Okay, so... If I can make uh, an income stream, if I can generate an income stream that is two, three, five, ten times better, or even four times better than stock market, then it is worth uh, uh, of energy, time, and so on. Okay, and this is something I think everyone should understand. Okay, so my advice is focus on concepts, not on tips. Okay, uh, this will bring you more success on your betting journey, okay? Think in years, not in days, okay? Invest time, money, and energy to become better, to become uh, successful better, uh, and then uh, success will come. This is something I would tell myself, okay? I'm not telling you what you should do. You can do your own uh, path, but uh, I think this advice is very valuable and it would help me. I'm, 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 I'm very happy with my life. I'm completely okay. I will do this video, then I, we have a son. I will go outside. To, to have a lunch, uh, uh, to meet my friends, and so on. But, uh, but of course, uh, it could be much earlier, okay? If I would have the mindset, okay? I don't know what mindset will I have in next 10 years. Uh, probably I will say that uh, those things that I'm saying right now are stupid because every time when we grow, when we look back, uh, we think that it was funny what we said. But at this moment, I think 
that if you think in years, not in days, uh, this is uh, much more beneficial than uh, jumping on tips, jumping on those tricks, do jumping on those, those picks. And in the long run, it will not help you. Despite I will make a profit in the long run. And if you jump on picks, if you follow picks, no matter if you follow me or any other handicapper, you can simply not follow every single pick, okay? Every single tip. Uh, every sports better and every person is unique. Okay, we all have different journey. We all have different financial situation. We have different IQ. Uh, we wake up different times. Uh, I live in Europe. Uh, I already make projections. If you live in USA, you are already sleeping. If you live in Australia, I think it, it, it is night. Maybe you wait for this video or something like that. We all live in different countries. We have different bookmakers. So every, every journey is unique. So always focus on the concepts. So once you have the knowledge, once you have the concepts, once you learn sports betting, then you can implement in your life because we need to build sports betting around our life. So first build your life, then build betting into, implement betting into your life, okay? So don't watch games uh, again, okay? For example, yesterday, uh, I had Minnesota Twins. Uh, it was a, bit, a winning bet at the end. Uh, uh, also, the line was a little bit uh, lower than uh, mine, so this was also okay. But if you look at this game, so if, I didn't watch the game, okay? I, 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 don't, I don't watch games, okay? I simply make my own job. Uh, I like this stoic mind. So uh, do the things that you can control and what I can control. I can control my own betting analysis. I can control my own numbers. I can control my focus, my uh, dedication, uh, my knowledge. I can f uh, control what how I will improve in next years, how, what things I will learn in next years and so on. So I can... Uh, I, I control if I will become better, better every single day, okay? But I cannot control the games, okay? Uh, so I don't watch the game. So don't waste energy on things you cannot control, okay? Because if you can invest this energy into something else, uh, spending time with your family, meditating, going into the nature, taking a walk, uh, this game is, I don't know, three hours, uh, three, five, uh, three, uh, three and a half uh, hours uh, long when I was younger I, of course I was also impatient and I was watching the games every single night uh, I started uh, watching games at 6 7 p.m uh, this is in our time uh, because because of the time zone in America uh, the game started I think around 1 p.m right so I think I think it is around 6 7 uh, hours difference and I watched whole night until six in the morning because Dodgers and San Francisco Giants and Oakland, they were playing the, the latest games and I was watching until six in the morning. And of course, I, I was only betting. Uh, I didn't have any other job because uh, I had, uh, I was betting, I had money and then I lost money and I, I had to work. And then, you know, when I was young, I had these uh, turbulent times, but uh, I was watching games whole night and it was unhealthy. I don't know how this will um how this will affect on my health later in, in my life stages later i, I hope uh, uh, it won't because i want to live a little bit longer i have a daughter i have beautiful life so i want to live a little bit longer and watching games is unhealthy okay imagine you watch game yesterday and imagine if you don't have a bankroll and you bet i don't know the less money you have because you saw my pick on youtube so you start watching this game and it is 1-1, one, one, then it is 3-1 after five innings. So you say you said, okay, this is great. And then in sixth inning, Cleveland Indians scored five runs. So it was 6-3, right? Seventh inning, no runs. Of course, uh, your nerves and your heart start beating uh, quicker, right? And this is not healthy. And then in eighth inning, <clears throat> uh, Minnesota, they tied the game. And it is a ninth inning, it is, which is always very stressful. And then Minnesota scores, okay? So it is it is huge shock for body and mind, okay? And I, I'm not telling that, I'm not telling you, you should not watch the games. I, you can do whatever you want. But my advice, uh, and this is from my personal experiences, I'm not talking just some theory. This is from my personal experiences. 
when I was watching these games, I had to drink whiskey. I had to drink alcohol because it was so stressful. And this is not unhealthy. And sports betting at the end of the day must be here to build and improve life and wealth. Sports betting should be a tool to make our lives better, not to make just a couple of bucks, okay? Because you, you can make a couple of bucks. You can go to work in a bar or you can go to have some extra job. If you're a girl or woman, you can be a babysitter in your extra time and you can make the same, the same money without stress, okay? Without fear of losing money, okay? I was doing extra jobs all the time. Uh, no stress, okay, you have to trade your time and body, but uh, there's no stress or fear of you losing your own money, okay? You have to deal with the boss. Okay, this is completely okay. But uh, when, you, when you are at the job, you don't uh, lose your money. You can only make money, okay? And if you watch games, this is unhealthy, okay? So just focus on the concepts, uh, not just focus, but I think it is better to focus on the concepts, focus on knowledge and not watching games, okay? So uh, let's go to today's games. Uh, and I hope that my projections, my numbers will help you somehow to make better uh, bets, predictions or uh, whatever. So we have first two games, Milwaukee and Cincinnati, Oakland and Miami, where I will stay away from these games because the pitchers for, for Cincinnati, I don't, I'm not sure who is the pitcher. And also for Oakland, I think Harris, uh, both pitchers are not qualified for my betting model. Uh, they should have uh, some uh, number of innings uh, pitch in certain period of time to be qualified here, and they are not. So I stay away from these games. St. Louis, Pittsburgh. Uh, my projected odds on St. Louis, minus 127. Bookmakers, minus 127. As I said, I talk in American odds, but me personally, I use decimal odds. Okay, I use decimal odds. They are much more simple. Uh, and this is not qualified bet. Philadelphia, Washington, uh, two right-handed pitchers. Uh, my projected number show that Washington should be at plus 132. Uh, bookmakers plus 160. Maybe small value with Washington, but uh, of course, I still give them uh, around 43% of chance to win this game. So it is less than 50% and my calculator formula shows that there is not enough value. Toronto, New York Mets, Chris Basit, Justin Verlander, two right-handed pitchers. I have Mets as a small favorite. They are small favorite, uh, no value, maybe even small value with Toronto. Uh, they, I think they have better hitting team. It is all in the model. It is all in the, in the numbers, but I think they have better hitting team and there is not enough value, okay? Uh, then we have Tampa Bay Rays against Boston. Uh, I think Tampa Bay Rays will start with Glasnow. He's still not qualified for my betting mall, so I stay away. I don't make opinions. I don't, um, okay, he's good, he's not good, so I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't do this, okay? I stick to the numbers, um, and I think this is the best way. So I, I put my emotions on side, so I, I stay away from this game. Then we have Seattle, Texas. I think this is the best game. Uh, if you like to watch uh, baseball, it is better to watch games where you don't have money on. Okay, so we have two good pitchers. We have two uh, interesting teams. And based on my projections, Seattle should be small favorite. They are small favorite. But uh, the odds from bookmakers are basically the same, right? So uh, I projected independently my odds. And when I compare with bookmakers' odds, I see that my odds and bookmakers' odds are the same. And there is no value. Cleveland, Minnesota, Sivale, Ober, two right-handed pitchers. There is no value in a uh, full game, okay? As you see, my numbers and bookmakers' numbers are the same. Uh, I have projected Cleveland at plus 120. Bookmakers plus 121, uh, but I found the value in first five innings. Okay, so I have Cleveland in first five innings uh, as a small favorite. Bookmakers have them as an underdog and uh, I'm taking Cleveland plus 0 0.5. Okay, so uh, uh, a bet is a winning bet if Cleveland uh, leads after first five innings or if the game is tied. This is one unit bet, okay? Uh, 
this analysis was made without bullpens included. Okay, so it is just pitcher against pitcher and team against team in first five innings. And based on my numbers compared with bookmakers' numbers, I found that discrepancy. Uh, and uh, uh, my numbers show that Cleveland should be a favorite in first five innings, not money line full game, only first five innings. Okay. Uh, Colorado, Kansas City Royals, Chase Anderson, Jordan Lyles, two uh, right-handed pitchers, uh, not qualified bet. Detroit, Chicago White Sox, we have average number here, so I stay away from this game. Atlanta, Arizona, Charlie Morton, Merrill Kelly. Uh, I have Atlanta as a small underdog, so basically close to be an even game. Maybe small value with Arizona, but uh, the numbers are too close, and I stay away. And then we have First underdog, uh, bigger underdog today. Chicago Cubs against San Diego Padres. Uh, James Taylor against uh, Michael Vaca. Uh, I give San Diego Padres better chance to win this game. Okay, this is something we need to understand. Uh, I give Chica- uh, San Diego Padres better chance to win this game. So if you bet a whole, if you bet your whole house on this game, San Diego Padres still have better chance, even based on my projections, based on my analysis. But Because bookmakers have uh, Chicago Cubs as a huge underdog, I see the discrepancy, the difference between my projected numbers and bookmakers' numbers uh, too big, okay? And my fair projected odds on Chicago Cubs is plus 105, okay? This is this number. Bookmakers have them at plus 148. And because of that, I am taking Chicago Cubs as an underdog at 1.25 units today, okay? Uh, not taking first five inning, okay? But uh, when we look at the whole game, uh, I found a value with Chicago Cubs. Based on my model, they have less than 50% of chance to win this game, but based on current market odds, uh, bookmakers' odds should be smaller. And if I can take those bets all the time, some bets will lose, okay? But because of plus EV, if betting mall is correct, of course, I can expect profit. I don't know if Chicago Cubs will win this game, but it, based on my analysis, it is plus EV bet, okay? I was thinking about taking them at plus 1.5, which is safer version, so you can take the run line, Uh, but the odds were around 1.70, 1.60, something like that, and I didn't like it, so I will just take uh, an underdog, okay, but it is both value. It is a value with money line, and it is also a value with plus 1.5 on Chicago, okay. Yankees Dodgers Severino Kershaw. Uh, based on my projections, Dodgers should be minus 145. Their uh, bookmakers have them at minus 135. Um, maybe small value with the Dodgers, but not qualified and not good enough. And then we have the last game. Uh, Then Creamer against Logan Webb, two right-handed pitchers. San Francisco is playing at home. I have them at minus 189, bookmakers minus 152. Because of that, San Francisco Giants is another qualified bet. So I have San Francisco Giants at 1.25. I have Chicago Cubs as an underdog. And I have Cleveland plus 0.5, first five inning. Okay, those are my three qualified bets, okay? Uh, So that's it for me today. Thank you for watching and have a great, great Friday.